Hello everyone. I am Hazza Al Mansouri, the Emirati astronaut, talking to you from the International Space Station above Earth, 400 km, and specifically from Kibu, the Japanese experiment module. This education event is uh, in collaboration under MBRC and JAXA. And today I will give you a demonstration how the free, uh, free flying robots work under microgravity here on the station. So as you can see, I have in my hand the int ball or the flying robot here in the Kibo module. And basically this int ball is helping the astronauts to take pictures while their hands are busy. So as you can see, this is the ant ball. And basically there is a camera between its eyes and it's taking pictures to help the astronauts. And the same times, the ant ball needs to be stabilized. So there is different uh, axis or uh, reaction wheels inside the ant ball. Additional to that, it can move by the fans, 12 fans around the ant ball. And these fans helped the ant ball to move around. And in the same time, the ant ball can locate uh, itself in the uh, Kibo module by using the target marker. As you can see it here. So there is a camera at the side of the ant ball and it can react to this target wheel or target marker to know its location as I can navigate here in the Kibo module. So uh, next, we'll show you how the ant ball stabilizes itself inside the module. If you can see behind me, If you can see, the ant ball now is floating and it's stabilizing at the same time. So it knows its location and at the same time it maintains that by using the fans and by tracking the target marker at the back there. So it's stabilized. So to show you the difference, I have here a pole, but this ball without any fans, without any access, and it tracks nothing. If you can see the difference, the sponge ball is just moving in the way of the airflow. So we talked about it stabilizing, but what the ant ball used to stabilize itself? I will give you a demonstration to know the difference. Thank you. So this is what they call it, gyroscope. Do you know the gyroscope? So the gyroscope now is not spinning, it's just floating around. So what if we make it spin, what will happen? See, whatever I do, it, it will maintain that axis. And this is basically what's happened inside the ant ball. So if you can see, if we rotate any reaction wheel in a direction inside the spacecraft, the spacecraft will rotate in the opposite direction. And I will give you a demonstration just to see how it works. So basically, if I rotate my, my uh, legs in a cycling motion, my body will turn in the opposite direction. Sorry, still I'm a beginner in uh, space. So if you can see that, I rotate my legs in forward motion, my body turn opposite direction. And this is what they call it control motion. And this is the same thing that happened inside the ant ball, inside the spacecraft, inside the ISIS. There's a giant 
gyroscope here that rotating in a certain direction to control the attitude of the ISIS. And there's four of them. Basically, this is what happened also on the side gyroscope or inside the antibody. 